What's up, everybody? Stay with us today on this video. We're going to be getting in and out of several of these smaller work vehicles, cargo vans, passenger vans, whatever you want to call them, but these smaller ones. You know, there's a whole fleet of them out there nowadays. People can get them at attractive prices. I'm going to show you a little bit of everything. We got a Ram Promaster over here, 2016. We got a 2015 Nissan MV200. We got Ford Transit. We got a little bit of everything right now at the store. So stay with us and let's take a look at some of these vehicles and see what the differences are and some of the great reasons on why to buy one if you're looking for something like this. So one thing I can tell you folks about these uh, smaller vehicles like this, fuel economy, you're going to get better gas mileage than possibly buying something like the E350 over there that's got a V8 under the hood, it's a lot bigger. Now, I do understand there's a lot of people out there in the work world, construction or plumbing or whatever, electricians, they're going to need something bigger like that because they got to have more space on the inside of their vehicle to put all their tools and equipment, okay? But maybe you got a business where you're delivering stuff. Maybe you want to be an Uber or Lyft driver. Well, this right here and a few others, some of them have back seats, and those are kind of what I'm going to show you today. Some of these that have back seats. And some of them are just all cargo space once you get past the two front seats. But for the most part, the bodies, the interiors, and the front where you're driving at are pretty much about all the same. Anyways, this is my first time actually seeing a ProMaster by Ram. It's pretty, pretty cool looking, right? I mean, for a work van, it's got a nice look about it. I also like the Nissan. Definitely got that Japanese look about it. How the front end's designed. Looks like it's kind of smiling over there at you. Um, one thing's for sure, Honda has not really ever gotten into the work van uh, uh, category have they no honda hasn't but uh nissan they do it toyota don't see it as much here in the states either so honda toyota kind of stick what they stick with but but ford chevy ram all those companies they kind of they offer this type of stuff you know there's a whole market for people out there looking for these types of vehicles now one thing i liked on the ram here versus maybe some of the other ones it's just something simple here but just a simple blinker light right here in the mirror okay the uh the ford transit or the nissan mv200 i won't speak for other brands but these don't have those on them okay i do like how the nissan has a painted mirror though in white flows a little nicely but anyways maybe you can get it on this too but it just depends on what package you buy i do like how it kind of rolls into the black here then the white top and all that the colors you know you got the black front bumper there they know that at some point something's gonna scuff that front bumper in a tight situation parking in a downtown or a city area right um so anyways, let's take a look at the Nissan over here. You know, I know when it, I really what it comes down to sometimes when you're buying a vehicle like this, you don't really care of what really the look of it is, do you? Not so much. Most of the time it's all about maybe the creature comforts because you're going to be driving it a whole lot. Uh, the space and some of the amenities that it might have and the engines and all that and the reliabilities of them. Anyways, the Ford Transit really looks about the same as it always has. You know, just a small little transit vehicle. That one there's got a router rack up on top. You can do that on any about any of them. Um, but anyways, there's the rear end of a Nissan MV200. That's a 2015 model. The Ram over there is a 2016. And these are like, oh, you know, 2010s, you know, in that range. Let's take a look at this one in the back. Some will come with backup cameras if you need that. Um, the ones I'm showing you today do not have backup cameras. Um, the Nissan and this one, both back doors slide right open. And uh, here's one here, an XLT Transit. And uh, that one, it's got back seats just like the Dodge does. Oh, it's locked up. I forgot to get the key to it. But anyways, let's take a look at the insides of these. I kind of want to tell you which one I like a little bit better than the other one, right? It's going to be a little difficult. Let's go ahead and start out with this Ram here. Now, what I like about the Ram... I kind of like the overall layout of the dash. Take a look at the dash here in this one, you know? It just looks kind of nice. I like how your speedometer and tachometer are kind of back in there and kind of in like a little cave area. Um, keeps some of the glare off of it when you're driving so you can see in there really well. Um, you got a little bit of storage area up here, more storage area over here. Um, a lot of little cubby hole spots, two 12 volts, e-brake. Um, you got your auxiliary USB right here. The Nissan over there will have it down there. I really like it up here a little better. Um, so you got that nice big shifter. Cruise control on there. I like a little bit of the glossy black. Just looks a little bit nicer. 
And heck, man, they even added in some tweeters in here for the stereo. How about that? I mean, what work van's gonna have tweeters? Um, but you do got storage up top. You got handles. The headliner's kind of a soft but hard material. Um, you got handles over there to grab a hold to, going around corners kind of quickly. And uh, the windows are really big inside of here, so not a whole lot of blind spots other than right there, the main blind spot, right? Um, so that's kind of, that's what this one's like. Of course, it is a little newer, so uh, it may have a few little, you know, things that look a little bit nice because it's a little, little bit newer, right? 2016. Currently today, we're in November, November 22nd, 2019. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool on this is this back seat here, you can fold it down. As you'll see on the diagram, you fold it down and it looks like it actually flips up for more storage space back there. So that's interesting. Um, and in the back, now, of course, these doors will open up to here, but you can put, well, that one right there, you can just push that thing all the way over there, right there, bouncy bounce. And uh, then you got all that storage room in the back. So plenty of cargo space inside of this one. Again, I think if you were doing a Lyft or a Uber job and uh, you're picking people up quite often from the airport, man, tent the windows on this thing, you'd probably be able to stay busy, you know, unless somebody just didn't want to ride in something like this. But, uh... Nissan, let's take a look at the dash in there. Now you notice on, on the Nissan, the Dodge, everything seemed to sit kind of lower. It really did. I know it may be hard to see on the camera right now, but the Nissan seems like everything's sitting up higher. You're gonna sit higher up off the ground in here, even though it looks kind of low to the ground, like the car's not that big. You're sitting, you're, you're, everything's coming up. Um, the Dodge is different. You, you're kind of sitting down into the car. And uh, now that's, now I, I've, of course I like the dash and the way it looks on the inside of the Dodge, but I do kind of like sitting up higher. So again, even though the car looks to be a little bit lower to the ground or about the same height as that one over there, um, the way they got the four floorboards and everything like that, it's coming up higher. I don't know if that matters too much, but it kind of does in a sense, if you're you know, busy on the roads all the time, you might want to sit up a little bit higher. Anyways, uh, this is nice though. You're getting all these audio controls on here and cruise control over there. Um, you know, you got just a small little, it's got a navigation screen in there. How about that? Um, you can't really see much of anything on it though, unfortunately. Well, there you go. I just cut the light off and now we can see a little better on there. But anyways, so you got that. Um, just a small, tiny little shifter. Um, you got your pups. Your auxiliary and all that's down there. I don't really like it all the way down there. I like it more up in this area. Um, you got a lot of cubby hole spot in here. And uh, we got a gate right there. So this one again is has, there's nobody sitting in the back of this one. This is all cargo space. So anyways, but I do kind of like sitting higher. But other than that, the Dodge, I love the layout on the inside. It's really nice. It's not too bad. How about that? You know, at the end of the day, it always comes down to pricing on how much you're going to spend on whatever vehicle you're looking at. I'll tell you the range of I got like an 8990 Transit over here, you know, 11990, 10990s, you know, all the different numbers. I'm not saying that one's 109, but I'm saying that's our range. 8900 to 119 at the top out on a vehicle. Um, that one's locked, but you can see the inside of it. Ford has always gotten really fancy with their uh, colors and patterns on their interiors. I'm not really a big fan of all that movement going on in the seats there. But, uh, you know, it's kind of plain on the inside, just like I figured a Ford Transit would be. Um, all of them have cargo up top there. This one's got back seats there. I wish it was unlocked. Maybe I should get the key. But anyways, I mean, a Ford Transit is a Ford Transit at the end of the day. I've got a 2010 for $89.90, you know, with 136,000 miles. Not a bad price, really, depending on what you need to do. So, that's kind of a quick look at them. We got a bunch of them out here at Rogers Enterprises right now. Um, this is the most in work cargo vehicles I've ever seen on the lot here at Rogers Enterprises, but we got them. The advantage of coming out here and doing business with us is no credit check. You're putting some cash down on the vehicle and you're financing it for two to three years and you're done, okay? As you can see, like this, this E350, it's $2880 cash down, no credit check. Pay your car payments, have it paid off. You're done, okay? So, you know, that's a little different. If you're if you're in the beginning stages of starting your own business or something, and maybe your credit's not completely all there, this is a great opportunity for you to pretty much get your business started. Think about it, man. If you depend on what that business is, 
you may need a vehicle like this. And a place like Rogers Enterprises can provide you with getting one without having to go to the new car store or the big used car store. You can get one and have it not even on your credit. The bank doesn't even know you got a car loan on this thing. So I think that's the advantage of coming to a store like this, getting approved automatically. Don't worry about a credit check. They don't care about your income. Just get the vehicle, get out there and get the job done. All right, guys, that's what we got today. We always getting more. Tax season will be here very soon, and we know things will start moving a little bit faster. But come on down and see us. Have a happy holiday, and thanks for watching the video. Let me know which one you like best if you're in the market for something like this. Hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. We'll see you soon.